Um, now there's a man who could be called Charlie Funny. Do you like that? It's good for comparing that. <laughs> Moving up there. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm not yet. Um, the splendid antics of Charlie Antropus. Here he comes. <laughs> Look at the hands. Instances. I was an instant on my way here. I'm now in an instant. I am here. Oh, God. So, it's better. It's been a cycle ride. You won't believe what's happened in my life. So, I've had lots of instances. I lost my, my, my wallet stolen a while back. A pair of my pants has gone missing fairly recently. Um, and fucking taxis. I cycle a bike every day and I nearly died again. It's difficult being these instances. It's very hard. <laughs> so hard. When did it all begin, these things? Well, it started when I was born. Um, I was there and my parents and doctors were in hospital and uh, there was one of those signs, an instant sign, like that, one of those A-frame ones. And it said, instant board, and it had a date and a time and a phone number to call if you had any uh, information. Um, so, Johnny's are 99% reliable and the Irish referee are not. Sorry, uh, is that the England rugby team? I think you've got the wrong number. Sorry, but Oh, someone else called in, I guess. Uh, here's another ring, ring, ring. Um, hello. Uh, good afternoon, children. We're going to talk about the birds and the bees. What well, seems to be a modern thing, judging by what other people said, is when you're in love, you go to the gum clinic first, and then the man inserts, excuse me, this is before the watershed. Sorry. Um, these instances are terrible. So like, that was a awful pause there. Incident, big pause. Terrible. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, instant board. So here he came into life and I came into life and he's followed me around like a guardian angel. Um, always there. I'll, I'll just demonstrate how he moves. Like this. Like. It's fairly tricky because I'm not an instant board. This is a dancing. More like that, sort of power. Um, and it's followed me around, it's been very, my clothes are getting a bit of a mess. It's been a bit uh, of a good relationship, really. He's trying, he's learning from mistakes as best as he can, but he's not that good, because if he was that good, I wouldn't lose my wallet or blah blah blah, my pants would still be there. And uh, he's very good to sleep underneath, nice A frame thing, sleep there, or if you want to reach the top shelf, you know, biscuits or whatever. So, um, in fact, I actually am looking for someone else who has an instant ball so we can fall madly in love with each other and put our instant balls together and maybe place a bit of wood across the top and have some lunch or paint the house. Um, <laughs> so, if there is anyone out there with an instant board, um, I'll be at the bar afterwards, hopefully sooner, because it's pretty thirsty work. <laughs> Fortunately, my system. Did that. Um, so, where, oh yeah, instant board. Um, yeah, let me just visualise something. Oh, not pretty. Um, so, anyways. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, you know, my pants went missing the other day, and uh, you know, I love blame culture, so I blamed everyone. Three really did. I phoned my flatmate, landlord, hamster. I phoned the estate agent. I said, look. These viewers, one of them's a pervert, he's stolen my underwear. They're very distinctive underwear, they're probably quite desirable. See? Thing is though, I did actually have them. I actually, they weren't here, but... See? <laughs> see what I mean? Quite distinctive. Just because they weren't actually stolen in the end, they are still desirable, aren't they? I bet you, you would desire this pair. <laughs> Me? I haven't worn them. Um, they're from my sponsors. Uh, I don't actually wear them, um, but I'm supposed to pretend they're good. Um, keep you very cool down there. 
Uh, if you want to make babies, which some of you seem to be wanting to do. Temperature control is important. Um, so, oh yeah, well, I'm just going to press this lift button here. Let's just bring, bring the lift forward, because it's here now. There we go. Bing! It's good timing, wasn't it? Fortunate. Imagine the awkwardness of me having to do some... Ooh, small talk. It's being possessed. Anyway. The door is now opening. Mmm. Mmm. A tissue! <laughs> oh, sorry. I practice in front of a mirror. For all the people at the back and says, I hope no one else goes in there. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so. Well, I guess I'm at my floor now. You have a nice afternoon. My name's Charlie Good night. Oh. Charlie Hey! I like Charlie. Kind of um, took a little while for you to sort of get where he was coming from. Was it? But once you kind of see what he's doing, it's kind of rather wonderful. The, the thing I, I, I quite like it when he comes out and it's a bit muddled and people don't understand what's going on. It's just, and then gradually you warm to him. It's a wonderful kind of thing he's got going. The thing that I was like imagining with um, Charlie is um, imagining him in a new group therapy circle. <laughs> and, and the therapist saying, everyone, um, this is our new member, uh, Charlie. If you'd just like to introduce yourself to the group, Charlie. And then he stands up and just says all of that. <laughs> I think 